Welcome to I'm the one asking the questions around here. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, whenever you want to ask a user of something from AL code, uh, you know, a yes, no question, continue, or should I proceed, or do you want to delete or something, use the confirm command. Um, and, and the confirm command is very simple. So, uh, you know, if confirm and then we can uh, we, we can do some some nice thing should we continue and then you can say default should let's say that we want the false to be uh, Peter one then message true else message false how about that? So we ask a question, should we continue? Default is false. Uh, and, and, and then, so let, let's try this. Um, should we continue? And we can see that uh, no here is, is kind of highlighted. So if I just hit enter, we get false. This is pretty good. What we can, actually we can, we can be a bit more we go with and then we do percent one and then we could do here let's just do uh, something let's see find first and then what we can do back here is that we can pass parameters in so this let's say pass customer name into this one so confirm is, is <laughs> has been in the in the system uh for for decades um and and uh, uh works very very well everybody uses it but i was the other day i was browsing uh the system application uh, app and looking for something and then i came across something weird let me show you uh confirm management let's call it that code unit so there's a code unit called confirm management so let's try this one so let's actually go back to this guy but instead of confirm let's try with con confirm management and we have two options get response or get response or default so i think if we do get response or default then we get, well, we don't get as advanced because there's no optional parameters here. So we cannot do this trick. We cannot do this trick. Um, but we could embed a string substr if we really want to do that. So let's just go back, should we continue? So let's see why we have a whole code unit to a confirm dialog. Is this the one with sprinkles and unicorns or something like that? Show. Did I really say should and then I type show? Wow. Um, and we got no highlighted. This looks exactly like a, the one we did before. I know I'm not able to spot any different whatsoever. Um, and if we do or d so let's just verify that if you put true in here then yes is highlighted it is it still show well maybe we should change that that's better <laughs> uh i don't know why i type show sometimes i think Total, total sidetracking here. My fingers are no longer able to type the word passport. It's impossible. Whenever I need to type passport, like if I'm writing something uh, as as a a foreigner living in 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 a my my not my home country, I'm Danish. That's why I have a weird accent, but I'm living in Canada. So sometimes I have to write emails where the word passport is involved. My fingers type password. 
they are hardwired to type the word password. And I have, I, I say, I think password, I type password, and then I have to, to fix it. That's very weird. Anyway, sorry. Like, uh, very, very strange. Um, anyway, so, so what is this? Because why, you know, encapsulation and all that stuff is, is very, it's very cool and new and fancy, but, but why do we have to have confirm encapsulated inside a, a, a code unit? Let's look what they're actually doing. Um, so let's disable this one and dive into the source code of this thing. So we can see that this is the typical way they do it, where they have a uh, facade code unit and then they have a implementation code unit behind the thing. Uh, so let's dive into the implementation code unit. And first of all, so this is interesting. First of all, we can see that we are calling confirm. So what we're seeing on the screen is actually the same thing. So there's no fancy .NET something blah blah blah. This is this is actually the same thing. But this piece is not the same thing. Is GUI allowed? So that's actually a function down here that uses the GUI allowed. So, so let's say you have code that has a confirm in it, but now you want to run that code from a uh, from a job queue, or you run it in a background thread, or it's it's triggered by a web service or, or something like that. Places where there's no user and a keyboard available or screen for that sake, uh, then. Either you have to you know, go back to your thing here. Let's get this one back to the old confirm. Now you have to say that if not GUI allowed, then do something. But what you can do here is that you can kind of bake that into the, the default bit mean that that you can you can say that hey if not good allowed then we're just going to return whatever the default is so you can you can take your code and instead of just using confirm you use the confirm management confirm and then your code is kind of pre-baked to also work in job queues also work in background threads also work in web services all the places where Google allowed is false. Um, and, and there's actually one more place where that is very, very useful in tests, because tests is also typically run uh, in a, a in a non GUI uh, scenario. So with this, your code does not have to handle tests with all the, the, the handler thing that otherwise just need to handle the uh, UI uh, operations when it comes to tests. Um, so there was a, actually, there was a matter, there was a, you know, a reason for the madness, uh, because, you know, the first time I was going to say, hang on, why are we encapsulating something as mundane as confirm? But this is pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure why this is a single instant code unit, uh, that seems kind of strange that we want to keep all these in memory for I don't know why perhaps for efficiency that 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 is that is I'm not sure that I can only think of that's a slight performance improvement but at the cost of memory um, anyway that's on Microsoft uh, pretty cool and uh, interesting uh, that's something that we all take for granted that has worked the same way for for three decades actually has a uh, well at least two decades um, actually has a three decades I can't even calculate somebody should really do a video on math maybe maybe this one uh, wow 
Okay, I'm giving up. Maybe this video is about math. Check, go check it out. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.